Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a very quick update video about how to remove the dressing following a cesarean section. So regardless of you having a, a plan or an emergency cesarean section, um, a dressing will be used um, to protect your scar area. Um, the scar is usually um, nicely tucked in the bikini area. It's about 20 centimeter-ish um, in length and it most probably will be covered um, later on by, um, by hair um, or um, by the bikini, basically um, by knickers um, after it is recovered. So following cesarean section, there are basically two options. Um, our regular dressing looks like this. It's called the Lucomet dressing. Um, it is a nice transparent dressing. This one has a little um, film on it, which makes it stick, which actually comes off. And it will sit nice and snug um, around your scar. It will be nice and adherent to the skin. Um, so basically it's waterproof and you can shower with it. So basically after you're um, up and about, um, 12 hours roughly after um, the cesarean section, then you could potentially shower with it. Um, make sure as much as you can see that the edges are not coming loose um, at any point. And if there are, or if there is any water leaking through, then um, make sure you mention to um, your midwife, if you're in hospital or the community team, um, if you're at home. Now, this dressing comes off on day seven, and usually what the community midwives do, they recommend you to take it off by yourself. Now, this seems a little bit scary, but it, it is actually quite easy. Um, so the best way is to kind of take it off whilst you're showering. Um, make sure you have just nice and warm water on it, um, and, and from the top, peel it try and peel it down or if it's a bit easier you can peel it to the towards the side as i said this is on day seven um after you've taken it off uh make sure you're able to visualize it might be easier for you to just go in front of a mirror and just check your little scar or get your um, other half to to check the the scar area the skin should be well aligned it shouldn't be um very red, it shouldn't be pussy, it shouldn't be still bleeding um, or oozing any kind of discharge. It might be itchy, which is good. It might, that means that um, the healing process is taking place. But at any point, if it is open on one side or um, if it's oozing, please don't hesitate to contact the day assessment unit and get it checked. Um, now, just to mention, there is another form of dressing as well. I only have a paper demo <laughs> um, from it, but I'll try and explain my best. So this is cool. So imagine this is my tummy and and this this is the dressing. This is called a Pico dressing. It comes with this little handy machine attached, um, which is a one-off use. So in situations where um, you do have a higher BMI, for example, um, you do have diabetes or you've had previously infection, um, then you might be recommended to have this uh, PICO dressing instead of the normal Lucumet dressing. This dressing is is wider, one picture doesn't really show it that way, but it's actually um, wider. However, the score should be roughly around the same underneath. Um, and this little um, uh, box has a battery in it. It is a one-off use, so it's only yours and following use, it will be chucked away. It's not reusable at all. And it provides um, a negative pressure and it aids better healing um, underneath. So 
technically the same um, the same thing applies to it when you're removing um, usually on day six the battery will run out so there is um, I don't know if you can see very well there is an OK button there and there is there is this little on the side this is the battery sign now if that battery sign is flickering the battery might die off um, and usually what we do as well on day seven when the battery runs out um, then it's safe to be removed um, so the same way get into the shower as much as possible if you do need any support from anyone make sure with one hand you can so you 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 can disconnect this little machine from here um, the pressure will stop and then uh, make sure you are elevating your your tummy a little bit so you can see where you're peeling it off from and then you start peeling it whilst you're in the shower because it provides um a, a, a better and more pain-free experience if you are struggling um, and you do have uh, your other half handy then after a shower straight away you know you could lie down and um, they can remove it for you um, easily make sure it's not ripped off it's just gently pulled um, also what I found is that this pickle dressing leaves a very, very um, sticky surrounding around the scar. So make sure that if you, for example, you do have a little bit of an overhang, that you're cleaning it thoroughly around, um, not on the scar, but literally around the scar area. Um, and then to keep the area very nice and dry. Now this is available for for the normal dressing as well, um, keeping it um, nicely tucked in the knickers. So pull the knickers up or further down if if you prefer, um, but don't let anything basically rub on the scar area. Um, that will will help um, for a quicker healing. Uh, also wear cotton underwear let it air as much as possible so if you if you are in bed then just let full air get to it um, this will help with healing as well um, I think that's about it so um, good luck and don't forget if you have any questions or any problems um, don't hesitate to contact uh, the day assessment unit thank you